It's March. March. Is that March? It rained like crazy today and the massive cold front is pushing in tonight. A couple of my buddies and I were talking about, you know, are they gonna move or not? And we think these next few days are really gonna get turned up a bit. This is Wednesday, so we've got Thursday and Friday. And then Saturday opens our firearm season. It's set up this brush pile. Forty-three. Just kidding. Even in sit, acquired a property today for a rifle season. Went out and put a blind out. Found a really good looking scrape. Lots of rubs. This rifle season is a kidless weekend for us. Come on, come on. So Cass is going to be the shooter, and I'm going to film. And then come Monday, she'll have to work. And I have a week's vacation. So Monday is when uh, it's turned over to me. It's still warm. They're just not doing a whole lot. Honestly, we need a real good cold front to come through. Get things rocking. But it ain't in the forecast. It is what it is. Pistachios are good. That's all. Spooky dookie. Dude, now that's fresh. What the hell is even that? There's no binder.
downwind of Bill right now. going. Heated steering wheel. Heated seat. I got a tip from a buddy on this place. He calls it the honey hole. I never would have thought to come here. Based on the map, you actually have to take an easement to get back here. Oh my gosh, this looks amazing. I'm going to rifle hunt this this year for sure. But it's gonna be hard to get one out of here. We're gonna get back in here and see what we can find. The plan has changed. This place looks so good and it's so big and it's so treacherous. I've started sweating already. The sun's not even up, so I ditched my saddle stuff and uh, took off a couple of layers and hid it here by this tree. I'm gonna put a pin on the map to where it's at. And I'm just taking my boot bandolier with a few items and we're going to walk back in here and see if we can't sit down somewhere and rattle. So now it's not about hunting today, it's about scouting for rifle season. It's a deer bed right there. Pretty big one. I'm up kind of on top of this ridge and I'm heading that way because there's a saddle up there. There's a ton of rubs right behind me. And then this is doe bedding. Look here. One. Two. Three. Four. This time of year. Pre-rut, rut. Doe bedding is gold. If you can find where does are bedding at, bucks will be coming through there. Usually on the downwind side. this place man I've seen sign all the way in here but now I'm at the topography I like so now that I got to the area I want to be based on the way the land is now I'm gonna look for sign back here 
If I can find sign and topography together, gold. Smelled me. Well, that was pretty cool. Let's keep going. Found it. see a spot that looks really good with a rifle like you can see a long ways I'm gonna look at the map and see exactly where yeah that's about what I figured yeah this would be good so I just rattled and then sat down by this tree we're gonna give it a few minutes and see if anything's up here beautiful morning okay update I went all the way to the end of the property it looks good all through there basically there's this one big long ridge and that's where all the deer sign is. Bunch of tr deep, tr <laughs> bunch of deep valleys coming off both sides of it. And I think they're just working the top of this ridge back and forth. I've got that big scrape right there. I was sitting right there when I called that little buck in. He came from that way. So I got next to this tree, got me a bunch of trash that was laying around, scraped out the dirt made me a little nest blind thing. I always consider myself more of a Marriott guy. So I've got three scrapes in front of me on the top of this ridge. My wind is blowing back behind me. I like it. I think I'm gonna rifle up here.
<laughs> so I'm editing this video and there's a gap. I want to take a minute and explain what happened. I did this rattling sequence. A little while later, I heard something behind me. I turned around and looked and I saw a doe and I seen something behind her and I looked and it was a gigantic 10 point buck. She was jogging and he was right on her rear end. I immediately, honestly, I just wanted to get him to stop so I could get a really good look at him. I snort wheeze, I grunt, finally he stops. Visually, I can see him really well. All I had was the GoPro because I hid my cannon <laughs> under the leaves. So the GoPro doesn't capture him. I doubt, I haven't got there yet, but I doubt you can even see him. Uh, he stopped for maybe 20 seconds looking around for me, and then he immediately took off running to find her again. But uh, that's what's getting ready to happen now. friggin' sore. That was a real nice buck that pushed that doe through here. So I moved off the scrape and came down the hill because I seen that little buck I rattled in, there was a doe, and then that doe came through with that buck behind her, all on that same trail. And I looked on the map and what they're doing is they're, they're coming through here and they're skirting around that big draw that goes steep down in there. So they're, they're coming right through here. Well, after I got to looking at it, that looks really good. And that looks really good. So I'm going to put my saddle in this tree. And then I've cleared out I've cleared out this area here. If I want to get down and eat lunch or just take a break out of the saddle, um, I can come sit down here and it would be nice and quiet. So I've marked this on the map. I've got three scrapes on the ridge behind me. And then this trail that they're using to cut around this holler. This is awesome. This is awesome. This is where I'm going to raffle hunt. So, it's noon. I'm done. I need to go get ready for tomorrow. I gotta buy tags and go to the store and buy some food and snacks and stuff. So I'm gonna make my way back out, pick up the stuff I hid, and uh, get back up to the truck. We got in here clean, I think. Wind hitting us in the face. We got three scrapes behind us. The path those deer were running yesterday in front of us. Got our little makeshift blind set up. How you feeling? Excited, tired, we just walked like 500 miles. My face is red, I've already stripped down. You're stripping? I already did. Dang it. I wanted to thank some of our sponsors who help us get up and down the road. Dude Wipes, Twisted Iron Hunting, Tree Sticks, Dawson Hot Wheels, Bone Reaper Outdoors, and Rack and Stick, check them out. Call dang.